Today we are looking at the Mad Cat RAT5 Gaming Mouse. On the back here, if you open up the insert, there's a little bit of information about what comes in the box and a few of the features of this mouse. Okay, so let's get out of the box. While I'm doing that, let me tell you a few things about it. It has a DPI range of 100 to 5600 DPI. This is a laser sensor. Its acceleration is 50G max, polling rate of up to 1000 Hz, and a tracking of up to 6 milliseconds. You see in the box here we've got the manual with some stickers. It's got a gold plated USB 2 port connector, and a nice braided cable, which feels pretty good. Okay, here is the mouse itself. So we've got the standard mouse buttons here. Don't really need to point this out. There's a rocker switch here. This switches between the DPI. If we look around the side here, we've got forward and backward buttons. Pretty standard. Got a nice thumb rest here. And this button here, you press it in and it makes things, like, reduces the DPI, makes it much slower. And there's a scroll wheel here that you can adjust using their software. This is the button here you press for the mode to change between your DPI settings. It's got Teflon feet on them, or the material that Teflon's made from. So it's nice and smooth, glides over the surface. And we have these weights, 6 gram weights, there's 5 of them, a total of 30 grams. You can unscrew this, put on or take out as many as you like to adjust the weight to how you like it. Okay, so time for the arty shots. <laughs> Hi guys, okay so let's talk a little bit more about this mouse. Now there's one thing, if you might have noticed, I didn't give you any dimensions for this mouse. And there's two very good reasons for that. One is I can't find the dimensions online anywhere. And also that this is in fact adjustable. So if we look around the back here, this little bit here, all you have to do is you push this in like this, and this slides out to about, it comes out to about here. So I don't know why anyone would want it here because I found when you put your hand on it, you just, it goes like this. So I'm perfectly happy having it all the way in, to be honest, but I guess it's a personal preference thing, and it's good that it has that kind of functionality with it. As for the the general feel of this, to me, it took a while to get used to it. I, I, I'm not going to lie. I, my Cooler Master Inferno was... I felt it. I was like, yes, this is really nice. But this, I mean, it felt a bit awkward to it. I mean, I tried putting three fingers on the top as well because it's just kind of a little bit wider than the other one and then this this switch here isn't all that easy to get to to be honest when you're like this it's kind of you're kind of half clicking it across like this and as and this bit here I don't know what you'd ever use it for really I mean you can set it up to scroll a page to the side while the other one goes up and down but that's about as I think it's more there as like an aesthetic thing so it kind of makes it look a lot less plain. I mean, the looks of this, I think, is the main attraction to this. I mean, I personally don't like that it's very glossy, so you can see every single fingerprint, and it's an absolute nightmare to try and film, as you might have seen in the previous shots where it just reflects me with a camera. So there we go. The other thing about this is the weights that I mentioned before. You can have up to 30 grams. I have them here I've got oh there is sixes 18 grams I took out it comes with all of them in and that kind of that was my my preference for the weight so it has got a good weight to it and you can adjust it to what you like okay so this button here is precision aim mode and what that does is just lowers the DPI of the mouse right down so you can get much better accuracy when you're like snipering someone down a rifle like that or well, that kind of thing and that, though I find it very useful for getting precise amounts of adjustment when I'm editing. Uh, as for the software that comes with it, it's reasonably good. There's not really much to say about it. I don't think I really need to show you all it is. It's pretty simple. It comes up, shows you all the buttons. You can click on them and change them to what you like. 
save them to different profiles and switch between those profiles with this button here though does anybody actually do this I mean I've never felt the need for I mean I like my mouse like as it is I don't I never think oh I suddenly need it so sensitive that that I move and it's going to end up in next door's computer so there we go the feet the feet are really quite nice they work quite well especially on I've got the cooler master storm gaming mouse mat stuff thing it's a mouse mat you know and it, it slides across this very well more can I say the, the button here that you click to ch this changes the DPI up and down it's 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 strange I mean it works fine but you kind of you push it down and then you kind of click it back like that and down so it's kind of almost like a rocker switch but which is weird to start with but it's okay okay so in conclusion this is a very good mouse really I don't really have much negative things to say about it other than the fact that it's glossy which makes it a nightmare for me to film I mean the styling is down to personal preference the functionality is good the amount of options you've got being able to change these in and out and these feet here being very good very well made it's got a nice cable on it I mean it's yeah not much else to say about it if you have a comment please leave leave them down there if you don't mind Google Plus sore subject with a lot of people now but there we go uh, thank you guys for watching and I will see you very soon